JBL. Just want to give you guys an update. I always try to do something every week. Post a video, whether people watch it or not. I don't know. Uh, I get a few views, but man, you got to hit subscribe. I, got, I think I got one subscriber. Thank you. The subscriber. Thank you. Um, got a tournament coming up uh, next week. Um, I did not get any practice time in. We are off to Wallaca. This is our third tournament uh, on the St. Johns River. I haven't been down there probably in about four months, so I don't really know what I'm going to do. I've kind of in my mind narrowed it down to three areas. Uh, one would be a spring off of Lake George, which I know they've got a tournament out of Salt Springs uh, that same day, so I'm going to stay away from that. So my other option is really Juniper Springs, which is on the very south end of Lake George. Uh, I like going there this time of the year, but I have to keep an eye for the weather and see what's going to happen. That's a big lake to be on when it's windy, depending on which direction it's coming out of. So that's number one. Number two would be residential canals. Uh, I know some canals that are very deep, and you get a main canal with a bunch of fingers coming off of it. Uh, residential canals can be very good this time of year. Done well there. Uh, that's one one idea. The other idea would be go up the Aqua River. I love the Aqua River. If there's just the right in, right speed of current running, it's phenomenal. Uh, you catch a lot of fish. You can catch big fish up there. Uh, you got to be careful running up there because it's real sharp turns. I mean the whole way. And of course you don't have to go all the way back like I do. I run way back. I mean I go past 19, Highway 19. and uh, But anyway, so those are my choices. Uh, I'll probably make my decision uh, the morning on the water. Uh, probably what I'm going to end up doing. Unless I get some uh, word from other people what's going on, which I'll make some phone calls and see what everybody's doing uh, out on the water lately. But other than that, yeah, fortunately, no practice. Too busy. Uh, but what am I going to be rigged and ready to go with? I'm going to tell you right now five things that I will start with on my deck of my boat. I'll keep a trap depending on the weather uh, they could be schooling they don't have to be schooling but I'll use the trap the other thing I will be rigged up with is a suspending jerk bait um, the next thing that will be rigged on my deck is a speed worm always ready to go and we're gonna have a fluke not necessarily that color but well a fluke and the one thing it is always on my boat 12 months out of the year, and I use it a bunch, is a Wacky Rig Senko, a bunch. I use that bait probably more than anything throughout the year. Uh, so that's uh, that will be the setup first thing in the morning. That's five, so that means I'll have 10 to 12 more inside the rod locker. I'll have things like, you know, swim baits tied on. I'll have a blade, blade bait tied on. Um, just, just assortment of stuff, but all in all, the five rods I, I went through just now, that will be the start off point for sure. And, uh, I'll have, uh, I'll have a shaky head rigged up. I'll downsize the light line. I'll have that ready to go. Uh, you get no, well, you don't have to be in the canals, but, uh, some of those canals that just works phenomenal. And, uh, I'll have, uh, shad wraps i mean just the assortment of baits so i don't know what to expect um i do need to do good in this tournament i uh, i'm sitting in second place right now one point out of first in points for the year so far it's only been two tournaments i need a good finish here because the two-day tournament that is away and next month uh, i will not be participating in i cannot go so uh, that counts as two tournaments Payouts for one, total weight two days, but counts as two tournaments in our club. Each day does. And at the end of the year, I'm able to drop one tournament, my worst tournament, which is going to be that one because obviously I'm going to zero. And so that will leave me with a tournament of a zero uh, left on the score sheet, uh, the ladder, at the end of the year. And it's going to push me down the list. I mean, I'm going to have to do pretty good the rest of the year uh, to stay in that top 10. Uh, I've done it before. 
so uh, that's where we're at. It's good to start off start off up top. That's the reason I'd like to have a great finish, if not a win, at this tournament, so that uh, that that one won't kill me that bad. So, other than that, that's about it this week, guys. Uh, busy week. Uh, I'll tell you, this coronavirus um, is bad news. I've had a facility that just blew up uh, this week and it wiped out a complete office staff within a couple days and we've got protocols left and right, masks, gloves, uh, disinfectant and everything you can imagine CDC's put out we follow and I have to do this contract tracing to figure out how this thing started and uh, it's bad so uh, a couple people out of the group uh, is, is having a bad time with it the rest of them no symptoms whatsoever and uh, so you guys need to take it serious get your vaccine if you're allowed to get it when it's your time to get it get it and until then we'll see you guys next weekend for the travel to the next tournament in the morning on the water hopefully on the water video and you guys have a blessed day see ya